This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. So, last time on Doki Doki Literature Club, we did the Sayori route. All the stuff went wrong, we did Yuri's route in Act 2, and then we finished the game and got the bad ending. Today, we'll be doing all of the routes, and we're getting the good ending. Despite what you might think, this is actually going to be a shorter stream than last time, almost certainly, because we can skip most of the dialogue, because most of the dialogue will be repeat. We really just have to spend time with Natsuki and Yuri, and then, yeah, getting the good ending shouldn't be too bad. So it might be a shorter stream today, or it might be a longer stream, or, you know what, we may switch over to Sockworks later. We'll, we'll have to see. What a combo. Doki Doki Literature Club and Sockworks. Yeah. Could you have picked two games that could be any more different? Probably not. Anyhow, off camera, normally, if you try booting up the game again, you just get put to the bad ending screen over and over again. But, I reset everything, and then I did the Sayori route again, so we have her CGs unlocked. And now what we're going to do is, because all of the dialogue at the beginning of us joining the Literature Club is the same on every playthrough, we're just going to go straight to the first poem writing game. Alright. So we could do Natsuki's route, or we could do Yuri's route. I think we're going to do Yuri's route first, and Yuri's words are a lot easier to get than Sayori's. Sayori's are, are the toughest words, because you need like a mix. Yuri's are generally the loam, and <laughs> weird ones like ambient, tenacious, variance, uncontrollable, unending, heaven sent, anxiety. Let's try to get all Yuri words, because there's actually achievements for getting one character's words all correct. Um, this one, I think it would be, like, infallible. Effulgent. Disoriented. Afterimage. Intellectual. Graveyard. Entropy. Contamination. Extra- No! We freaking got a Sayori word! Are you kidding me? That can be annoying. When Sayori's around, it can be like, this is clearly going to be a word for Yuri. Nope, it's a word for Sayori. <sighs> Heaven sent contamination. Some misfortune is for Sayori. Scars. That's also for Sayori? That's bogus. Yuri's the one who has scars on her arms. I'm getting a perfect one. <laughs> I'm getting these achievements. Unending. Uh, none of these seem like Yuri words. So we'll go with Bliss. Okay, I don't think any of those were Yuri words. Those all looked like Natsuki or Sayori words. That's annoying. Massacre. Passion. Are you kidding me, Sayori? Knock it off. You already got your time to shine. I want this to be Yuri's time to shine. Good lord. Unending. Unrequited might be Sayori. Wrath. Secretive. Vivacious. Infinite. Uncontrollable. Afterimage. Frightening. Philosophy. Effulgent. Contamination. Climax. Unstable. Massacre. And you can't save partway through this. Every time you load on the poem screen, everything resets. Tragedy. Are you kidding me, Sayori? Stop it! Sayori screws up everything. She's still best girl, but she, my gosh. I swear sometimes you get a list of words where none of them apply to one of the girls. And that's so annoying. It basically makes it trial and error. <sighs> Imagination. Sensation. Intellectual. Prayer. Nope. Sayori's the religious one, apparently. Stop screwing things up, Sayori!
wait, I didn't mean to click that. Wow, that's that's a first one. I picked the Natsuki word instead of a Yuri word. I I'm not a I am not afraid to pull up a list of Yuri words. I'm not. This is ridiculous. How many times have I failed to get all of Yuri's words? This is ugh. Hi Nick. I know that you can you still get Yuri's root as long as you get the most words. The problem is there's an achievement for getting picking all 20 words as Yuri's words. So that's what I'm trying to do. I thought it would be easy, but no. Sayori and apparently last time Natsuki keeps screwing things up. Glad to see you're here, though. Welcome. Okay. Determination is a Yuri word. That's good to know. Uh, fester is definitely a Yuri word. Atone. Uncontrollable. Massacre. Horror. Alone. Okay, I'm sorry. How is alone possibly a Sayori word? Yuri's, like, personality is that she's a loner. That doesn't make a lick of sense. Death. Wow, that didn't last long. Are you, are you serious? Sayori, these words should not belong to you. I'm just saying that right now. This is r absolutely ridiculous. There are so many words that it's like, this is, like, scars. You'd think scars would be a Yuri word. Nope, it's Sayori. For no reason. How is dark a Sayori? Okay, nope, that's it. That is freaking it. I'm pulling up a list of the words. This is utterly ridiculous. It's gonna be, didn't you know strawberry is a Yuri word? How did you not know that? It makes perfect sense, herpa derpa skirpa. Okay. Vibrant is a Yuri word. I know that. Surely portrait would be a Yuri word, right? Nope, it's apparently not. Uh, thank you for the follow, whoever that was. I didn't get a chance to see. I'm trying to see which words are Yuri's. I, unless I am mistaken, I think all of the, none of these words are Yuri's. Nope, none of those words are Yuri's. That is so dumb how you can just get a list of words where you cannot possibly get the correct one. That is really dumb. Yuri has very few... Okay, well, um... That's clearly... This site is wrong. I picked Misfortune, and it says it's a Yuri word, and it's not. Hang on. Does Yuri even have 20 words? She has 29 words. You have to be really lucky to get all of them. Are you Are you serious? This is really dumb. All right. It says grief is a Yuri word, but Sayori jumped up. Sayori? Normally, you're my favorite girl, but right now you are ruining this. All of these words that I'm picking that Sayori is jumping to, according to this list... Wait, hang on. Oh, I was looking at the wrong... Doggone it. 
Yuri has two lists. There are two lists, Charlie Brown. One to pick and one not to pick. Okay. This is Yuri's actual list of words. Whirlwind is apparently a Yuri word. Huh, never would have thought that. That seemed like an Atsuki word. All right. Intellectual, vivacious, massacre, contamination, unrestrained. Rain cloud or rain drops. I think disaster. Disaster would surely be one. Yeah. Melancholy's got to be a Yuri word. Vivid is surely yeah. Vivid's a word. Disoriented. Yep. Frightening would be one, right? Passion, probably? No, that could be... Nope, not passion. Not passion. Grief, maybe? Nope, not grief. Not even shame? What the heck? Is there anything here that's Yuri's? I'm getting really sick of them constantly giving me words where none of them are applicable to Yuri. Nope. Nope. None of those are Yuri words. None of them. Not even one. Remember how I said this is going to be a short stream? Apparently not! We haven't even gotten a single line of dialogue because of this. This is going to be just 10 hours of already failing at the poetry minigame over and over again. Judgment is one. Whirlwind is another. Extreme, right? Yeah, extreme. Incapable, probably, I would imagine. Yes. Some of your ease words are extremely easy, and some of them are absolutely terrible. Landscape. Vivacious. Variance. Climax. Vibrant, probably? She likes the V words. Graveyard. Determination. Incongruent. Analysis. After image. Crimson, probably, right? Yes. Crimson. Unrestrained. Heaven sent. Just need two more. Frightening. Portrait. Oh my gosh, we finally got the freaking achievement for Perfect Yuri. Good. 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 My lord, that was absolutely awful. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, Legendary o Otaku, you're the one who followed. Thank you so much. Y yeah. <laughs> Alright. Finally. Alright, we can skip all this. We've seen it before. Sorry, Monica, I don't mean to skip you. Alright, here we go. So, I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, because I spent an hour trying to write her a proper poem. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Oh, sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably would have noticed you in the first place. Er, if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading this a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Uh, not for any particular reason. Uh, just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Uh, well, it's about a frog and a toad who are friends together. 
Hmm. Here he closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just want to make sure that I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... it's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, but that dark turn came from nowhere. I'm gonna read Frog and Toad are friends instead. That's a, that's a happier story. Also a bit more in tune with my reading level. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan? Are you not a fan of those sorts of things, Artie? Correct. Oh no, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil but because they have their own goals, or their own philosophy that they believe in. And then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize! I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I read things like books and and I write things like writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means that you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Y you don't have to! <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. <laughs> Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book I had put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slide into the seat next to Yuri's. The... <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? You're kind of sweating a bit, you s and you seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. I mean, she cute. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. D sorry I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk right until it's right up against Yuri's. And then I hold my book be uh, between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, we are, our shoulders are almost touching. Gasp! No! Too lewd. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ugh. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips her to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Also, nobody else is here. Where did everyone else go? Did they go and get snacks at the vending machine without us? Because that's not cool. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Some of us are slow readers, Yuri, don't judge. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. 
we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it, um, by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. You, bro, you read reading too much into this. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. It's called being a person. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Uh, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Artie, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Ugh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> I guess I more meant it that it, it's kind of cute. Ah! What are you saying all of a sudden? I'm saying, date me. <laughs> I mean, that's maybe a little too early. I... Okay, everyone! <laughs> I think it's about time we start sharing today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer if I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm... In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish off the first two chapters in your own time. Alright! I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and then I slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Monica, I know you assigned me to this, like, two months ago on Halloween, but I, I never wrote the poem. Surprise! Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Okay, we've already seen this. Brr! 